Hello everybody, welcome to Brick Vault, and today is another LEGO Weekly News update. It seems to be bi-weekly, but once again we are in the middle of still moving and setting up a brand new LEGO studio, and that includes moving the million plus bricks and a ton of our sets and custom built mocks. Hopefully more updates on that in the near future, but it is time now to get into the news, which is now a two week update. First off, let me say there are a couple of new LEGO custom built models up in the web store for instructions if you wanted to build the homing spider droid by Nostalgic Bricks. This guy did an excellent job at building out the studded sphere-shaped head and accentuating the rather cartoonish uh, features that stick out from this particular spider droid body. It's super sturdy. You can check the link in the description below, www.brickfault.toys. And along with that from Zeo Creations comes 21 different dogs. I think there's 11 breeds, just a lot of different color variations. Really, really fun build style, lots of personality, and most of them are decently poseable. You can get the whole bundle or buy the dogs individually, and now it is time to jump into all the major news stories of the week. Let me just knock out ideas first, because there's a lot of things that got voted in, and the 2019 third review stage has completed. I saw this article first from Alan Trainer, the brickfan.com. There's a ton of links to his stuff in this particular video, so check out the description below for links for any thing that I'm talking about in this episode and this review stage actually produced three final models to come from ideas home alone or the McAllister's house is getting approved which is pretty interesting it's a really really big set really fun title and I know Macaulay Culkin is like now in social media and does YouTube stuff it would be really funny if he ended up getting one of those sets and doing a review for it next up is the Lego typewriter it would be awesome if the keys actually punched up uh, the little letters to the paper I have a feeling that that won't be the case for a model like that just a little bit too intricate but certainly a fun display piece I wasn't expecting this one to get passed through and then the Seinfeld 20th anniversary was the third set to get accepted for this review stage which doesn't come as a particular surprise I always thought the final roadblock for this would just be uh, for the characters, the actors, to sign off on uh, having their images turn into a Lego minifigure. And it seems that that was the case, because it's coming down the line. It's Jerry's apartment. Out of all the different TV shows that have been turned into official sets from Ideas, this one in particular, is, uh, the, is the one I'm looking forward to the most. And now let's rocket through all of the different sets that got 10,000 votes of support in the last two weeks. First up is the BMW M21 E26 from Tomoel. Certainly good design choices here. They feel a little bit stocky, but that feels intentional from the designer. It's a really kind of beefy build for a car. Great choices for colors. And they look like they're around the same size as different creator expert designs. Next up is the Caribbean Clip. I love this build. I love the colors. Some of the techniques look like they're sort of copying what came from the most recent uh, Pirates of Barracuda Bay set, but part of me actually just doesn't care at all. I just want another colored awesome pirate ship, this time with more cannons. Baby Teeth was the designer of this particular one, and then I've seen this one up on the site for a very long time. I'm glad it got those 10,000 votes. This is the Sheriff's Safe with Combination Lock from Il Buono. So there is a little nice locking mechanism on the inside for the door. You can put little bits of treasure in there. It's slightly upscaled, certainly a decorative piece, but just kind of a fun concept. Next up is the 31 Minutos TV Studio from Yinsomniac Typho. It's uh, based on a Chilean TV series, perhaps riding the wave of many other TV series getting voted in and many getting approved, though this one feels a little bit niche and I have a feeling a very, very strong uh, small but strong supportive group got this voted in with those 10,000 votes. The techniques are extremely simple and something tells me this got voted in mostly with uh, just the really, really strong support of a small group. It just feels like that. Then the last one is the Southwest 737-800. It's a great build for a plane. I always look at how they do the wings when I see large builds like this. The techniques look great. Seems like there would be a lot of either stickers or custom prints if you really wanted to get the Southwest logo cutting through the windows like that. And also, of course, getting that interesting yellow and red stripe along the tail. I think this would be 
awesome. The color combination feels a bit ambitious at the end of the day, but who knows? Definitely more interesting or strange sets have been approved before in the past. Big Plains Customs is the designer for this one. Congrats to everybody that got those 10,000. And now let's jump into the primary stories of the week. First off, let's go through all of the new pictures of all the new stuff that hasn't been seen before until the last two weeks. First off, I'm starting with what I think is the most interesting one. The Lego art sets are officially announced. We knew they were coming down the line, but now the pictures are here. Really, I should just say picture of all four. And we've got some wonderful designs. There's Marilyn Monroe from Andy Warhol. You can see her face has been built with dots instead of squares, and that's actually the case, uh, it looks like, for all of them. Some people do mosaics with the square pieces, but it looks like the Lego design group has decided to do it with dots because I think a it's a little bit easier to do it that way but maybe they also just enjoyed the aesthetic design as well the Beatles has one picture in four options oh that's interesting I just read it here uh, recording so it's one set and you can make only one face each of the guys I guess you get better detail out of it and they weren't gonna make like some massive set. It is 2,933 pieces for the Beatles set and that's just to make one face. So you would have to get four of them if you wanted to make all four faces, which is crazy. Marilyn Monroe is 3,341 pieces. Remember, it's mostly just dots. Then Iron Man is uh, 3,167 pieces. I really like the colors used here. There's something uh, that works about all four of these sets in terms of just kind of an interesting variation. I really wouldn't mind having uh, all of these sort of framed up and hanging in the studio. They, they have little black frames around the outside. Maybe you wouldn't actually need to put a frame on it uh, at the end of the day. And the last one is 3,406 pieces. It says the Sith, but you know, it, it's Darth Vader. And I like that they really employed a lot of red and blue. That's always been sort of a classic clashing color combo in cinema. And specifically, uh, uh, it works really well for Darth Vader. You can see a bit of his red lightsaber in one corner and it's sort of reflecting on his helmet. These look a whole heck of a lot better than I thought they were going to. Each set will sell for $120 each. They're going to be out on August 1st. That means 480 bucks if you want to get all four of the Beatles or 480 bucks if you wanted to get all four of each. Iron Man will be available August 1st. The others will be available September 1st. And then we talked about the brick sketches before in the past. The official pictures have been released for them now. 20 bucks each. Much smaller. A little bit simpler. Certainly cuter. They're coming out July 15th. And then here is the Creative Fun 12-in-1 promotional set. 240 pieces on the back of the box you get to see what the 12 different builds look like. Definitely a July or summer themed set for sure. It is the promotional one. You get it free with a purchase of $85 or more. Certainly quite colorful. And we already saw the Iron Man Armory set, but now the official better pictures are out. So this is what they look like. It's going to sell for 30 bucks, 258 pieces. Some people are saying that this set and other ones are already starting to pop up in different stores. And then now we are looking at the Lego City Elite Police Summer sets for 2020. Here is the Elite Police Boat Transporter. That police truck has just the slightest hint of Cybertruck in there. All the builds seem relatively simple. The characters actually have names, similar to many of the more recent city sets before. Here is the Elite Police Driller. Once again, interesting concept for more slopey pieces for the police car here though. I'm not a big fan of the primary color as being dark blue. I like the fins in the back of this police car. And then here's the Elite Police Lighthouse set. Gotta say that lighthouse is looking pretty dinky. And we now have pontoons on the police helicopter. At least they're trying something different with the police helicopter, which is always uh, well respected because it is, I think, the single most repeated design in all of LEGO. Seasonal Halloween stuff is coming around the corner. This is the Halloween Hayride set. Great build for a tractor. Wish they had no stickers on the side and instead a little build for those pipes. Outside of that, it's great all around. 148 pieces and will retail for 13 bucks or $12.99. The second one up is the Seasonal Pumpkin and Bat Duo set. It's really just like a, a pumpkin ornament and a bat pumpkin ornament. I mean, like the head is pretty much the same build as the pumpkin. All it has is a different color combination, different pieces, different sticker face pictures in the front and the little wings on the side. Certainly actually, cool little builds. That's it for new pictures. Then the Crocodile Locomotive, uh, really cool set. 
uh, that was revealed the last couple weeks. The designer video is out. I always recommend watching the designer videos. They're kind of interesting. Part of me thought that this was a somewhat niche set. I don't know if that's gonna be the case. I have a feeling the train fans are gonna love it. It's built in seven stud wide, which is kind of interesting. Then the Ninjago Master of the Mountain trailer is out if you wanna watch that. I'm not really plugged into Ninjago so much. And then Lego has announced that they are partnering with National Geographic to inspire kids. They want it to be focused on the exploration and protection of endangered species. It'll have the National Geographic logo on the boxes for these sets. And LEGO also announced contributing towards the National Geographic Society to fund grants in the ocean exploration and species conservation. It's kind of interesting. I'm down to get more nature-based sets. I really hope that they're built at a higher level of detail and not too simple just because those would be really fun to integrate into cities and other dioramas for the future. Then I hope it's not too little too late. The uh, store calendar for July is out. Also happy July 4th for anybody that's watching this on the day that this video is released. The creative fun 12 in one that I talked about before that has already started from the first. It lasts to the 26 or well supplies last and if you want to learn anything else about the stuff I'll just leave links to the pictures you can check out the store calendars from there uh, we are done with the news thank you so much for watching everybody if you enjoy our content you can always like or subscribe top 10 mocks of the week is tomorrow and hopefully this studio gets finished up so I can stop recording without a blanket on top of my head in the middle of an empty room all right thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault <laughs>